Welcome to Lifestyle Change Straight Talk to you. This is Vern, or you call me Vernetta. I am your lifestyle coach, lifestyle change coach. I am, and I mention it often in some of my previous sessions that I am a former bodybuilder, former personal trainer, and now I'm on the lifestyle, lifestyle change coach side because I think people kind of miss the mark. And I'm going to do a real quick session today. And this is an example of what I mean when I say I think people have missed the mark. Um, and of course, some don't want to put the work in. And this is just, this is a straight talk. I mean, I do straight talk on this channel, straight talk. Um, it, it's for those who can or are ready to change. So today I'm going to briefly talk about, oh, and before I forget, subscribe to my channel. And you can do this with a friend if you need support. It's free. So feel free to share. Today I want to begin to talk about um, starting at home. You got to start at home if you're serious about making a lifestyle change. And it is for life, for the rest of your life. Because where you are right now and where I may be right now, it, it needs improvement. You need to move forward, not backwards. We don't want to get stuck. We want to keep moving. So, I, I, you know, when I was training and when I got into the personal training part of it I just thought to myself it's like well these folks can just go home and they've done all this work in the gym and who knows what in hell they're eating when they get at home you know and that's just real that's real and, and it's it's it, it, it's connected to so many things uh, our health is it, it, if you let it I get tongue-tied when I get excited and I'm passionate about things but if you let it it will just wreck your body and your life so you have to start at home and the first thing you need to do is clean out your refrigerator, clean out your pantry, because it's just a waste of time, especially if you pay for a personal trainer, for you to go to the gym and put in all this hard work, and then you take your butt home and eat all kinds of crap that's not helping you at all. So, and I've heard, had some people tell me, oh, well, I have kids, and well, maybe their little butts need to, get, to be trained properly or be taught properly. They're in their formative years. You need to start now and instill and, and in them that they need to not just sit at a computer all day and, get, and stay on the internet all day, that they, they need to get up and move these bodies because they're made to move and, and we need to take care of them for the duration of our life. You know, we don't need to keep going back for easy fixes and going back to see the doctors and to have all these surgeries done if you don't want to uh, do the right thing for your body. It's, really, it's not about looks, it's about your body. So you have to, and the health of your body. So you have to start at home. You got to clean, clean out your pantry. That's my main point today. Clean out your refrigerators. Donate the food. I'm sure there's some other people who still want to eat the bad food. So feel free to donate it, you know, who are not ready to make a lifestyle change because it is for life. It is for the rest of your life. Um, and it's, a, it, it's you have to take baby steps, I understand. And it's, it's still like the 80-20 rule. Some people want to say 90-10. Um, whatever. The point is that whatever percentage you're on right now, and if you're still overweight and you have more than 35 inches that you can pinch on your belly, you may have some serious issues. It's not. It's it's about uh, being connected to being having diabetes, uh, um, um, too much cholesterol, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, uh, just all those bad things that can not either cause, oh my gosh, I mean, strokes, heart attacks, everything, amputations, death. It's serious, but we, for some reason, uh, don't want to take it seriously. So you got to eliminate, here's quick, quick tips. Focus on eating one ingredient foods, one ingredient foods. I mean, I'm sure you heard about them saying that you should just stay in the outer uh, part of the store because that's where you're going to get the freshest uh, produce and products. And personally, I would recommend that you go find a really good farmer's market in your neighborhood and go there. They have, and especially if they're cooking some of the foods for you, they have a tendency to not put a lot of sodium in your foods, which, which can be a killer. They don't use a lot of sugars in your foods, which is another killer. Killer. I mean, it's, it's, and, and, it's, and it, they're both addictive. So we got to get the processed foods out of the refrigerators, out of the cabinets, out of the pantries. You got to start there. 
it's it's a it's a it's a tough challenge. Some most people can't do it, but when I was training bodybuilding and getting ready for a show, we had to cut our sugars and we had to cut our salts. And it's amazing with the body how it adapts. It will adapt. It will adapt. And and it was amazing how as soon as we finished competing, I wanted to go get some Chinese food and it was just it was awful. It was too salty. I couldn't take it. So that's the point is to get your body to a point where, no, you don't have to. And it's, it's an, of course, it's not good to just eliminate things like that completely. But this is, will give your body a chance to reset, restart, and, and get to a point where you don't have to consume as much sugar and salt in your diet. So we can start with 80-20. You can do 90-10 if you're mentally strong enough or if your body is, is, is willing to, to push through. If you can push through the fight. Because it's going to be a fight. you got to be willing to stay in, in, in the fight. That, that's just my whole thing. Um, process, processed food, things in boxes, start to get rid of. You, we want to get you to the point where you're eating from the products, from uh, foods from the earth. Foods and vegetables and, um, you know, natural ingredients. Try to go organic if you can afford it. Or treat yourself and go organic when you when you can afford it. But you have to start somewhere. So I mean, again, all I can say is you're just you're you're setting yourself up for failure. I I, I like to use that phrase a lot because it's true. You can look at so many aspects in our lives where they have set out, and I'll say it: businesses, just systems that we are exposed to. The you know. So many things were set up for failure. So if you take some time and sit back and look at things, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, that's, that's what they promote the most, the things that are not good for us, the things that are, you know, not, not healthy for us, the things that are dangerous for, to us. But if other companies and, and, and just, well, I would just stick with the companies, can benefit from our poor health, then yes, they're gonna they're gonna continue to do so. No, they're not gonna tell us the the best things that we need to do for our bodies, and they really don't want to promote it because they're making too much money off of us. So it's it's not it's laughable, but then it's not laughable because we fell for the okie doke. It's up to you. It's a personal choice, and so you you have to be you have to be <clears throat> ready to make the lifestyle change. I mean, things like, <clears throat> and we know the basic things um, that, that are bad for us. We got the, the white breads, the pastries, all the stuff that I love, the white flour, you know, the creams, the cheeses, the creamers, uh, the butters, um, all, just all of these, these types of things. Again, the things that are packaged in, in, in the frozen section that have been produced and not, not naturally, yeah, well, a lot of them not naturally grown. Um, Gosh, I mean, just so much. The sugary things, the very salty things. You just, you got to get to the point where you got to start reading all the labels, and you know exactly what I'm, what I'm talking about when you, when you start looking at the ingredients. And also, of course, we always say, if they got ingredients, ingredients in there that you don't even know what they mean, you don't know the definitions of these things, and we just go ahead and, just, and continue to put this crap in our bodies. It's just, it's just. It's just I can't get over the fact that we're just okay with that. And I'm guilty too. That's why I'm laughing. But once you educate yourself, we hope, to, we hope that we can do better. That's the point. We try to get everybody who wants to do better to do better. But I am a big fan of farmer's markets, um, gosh, and just places that maybe may cater to, um, to uh, you know, produce, making foreign foods foods for different cultures because a lot of people don't eat like Americans eat. They, they, some of them eat much better than we do. So, so we need to get off this bad page that we're on. At least give it a try. You know, I think, I think it's worth it. I wish I had known what I know now when I was much younger, I would be, uh, some parts of my body would be in much healthier conditions, but you know, things will be as they are. So now that you know, it's one thing to know and another to do. It's one thing to, you know, to run our mouths and talk about all the stuff that we're going to do. And, but it's another to get up off your butt and start taking action and, and making it happen in your life. I'm telling you, once you get into to that mode, uh, your, your body will thank you. 
Your circulatory system will thank you. Your heart will thank you. I mean, just all, all these things. And yes, we, we, we're exposed to so many things, but you don't, and I'll say it again, you don't want to continue to contribute to the situation. You don't want to contribute to, to uh, chronic diseases. I, I just don't understand why we are okay with that stuff. I don't understand why a lot of us are okay with just popping a pill to live. I don't understand why a lot of us don't want to put the work in. I don't understand why a lot of us just want to take all these shortcuts. And, and, and I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm old school. And uh, I think it's cool being old school in many aspects because we, we were not exposed to all these bad things when we were younger. And then the generations, of course, before, before us weren't. There are pros and cons to everything. But this is my, this is my quick um, shout out today. I'm a coach. So coach is going to get on you. Coach is going to get on you. That's what we do. That's our job. You know, we, it don't, it's not always uh, easy. It's, we're not going to always say things that you, you know, want to hear. We're going to say things that, that might prick you. Uh, we're going to say things that you, you really need to hear. And we're going to say things that's going to give you um, uh, some time to take a step back and say, uh, is, is this for me? Does this shoe fit? Am I guilty? Yeah, yeah. You know, I had to say that for myself. I still do in, in many aspects of my life today. So, hey, uh, I'm just I'm here to, to help you guys. Feel free to reach out to me if you you know <clears throat> excuse me want to talk about your own personal situation. But this is uh, my passion, and I like I said I've lived it for the last thirty years after I started competing and bodybuilding and stuff and so once I learned some of the things in in that arena I just stuck with them and they work they work I know what I'm talking about I did and that is not just you know the thing that you can just go sit in a class read a book take some tests yeah you know okay now you're in the gym you pump up some iron you know how to do some exercises and now I'm gonna talk to you about it I lived it and there's a lot of people that I know who were hanging out with with, with me with me at that time who are still living it too. So it works. It works. We know it works. And we're just letting you know if you're ready to put the work in, that you'll get the results that you that you really want to want to have. So that's it for me today. Quick short session. Um, hope to see you guys in the next session. Feel free to pass it on. I'm just trying, especially my people, my people, my people, I'm trying to help my people get it together because they want to say we're at the top of the list for so many bad things. And we shouldn't be okay with that. You shouldn't be okay with that. And so that's my take for today. I hope to see you next session and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.